Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to an unofficial title of The Legend of Zelda, The Missing Link. This is supposed to be in between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. This is made by Kaze, I, 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 I suppose CDI fails, and Zell. So, but let's get into this. Start a new profile. I guess I'll just do Link. Since that would make sense. Hang on, where's the N? I've lost it. Oh, it's over there. But, uh, I agree with most of this game. There are, there are a few things I'm picky about. But, I, I, I kind of like it. In a way. Also, what is happening? Hang on. Okay, let's uh, go. Okay, that was scary. Let's try this out. According to the legend passed down from generation to generation of the royal family of Hyrule, there was once a boy who lived his life, life peacefully deep within the forest. This text is going by really fast. But one day, the magical fairy Navi informed the boy his, of his destiny to save the kingdom of Hyrule from the great evil King Ganondorf. The boy embarked on his quest and conquered many foes, all while Navi guided him. He traveled through time and soon found himself face to face, face with Ganon, whom he fought valiantly. Hyrule was saved. I think that's what they said. It's, it's going back really quick. Princess Zelda sent the then sent the boy back in time to relive his childhood. It is said that upon completing his quest, the boy traveled on a secret and personal journey to find a friend. But what led him on that journey, and where did Navi go? I mean, I feel like I just could have just gone that journey to do it. <laughs> and I feel like the stuff in the future of Ocarina of Time could still happen, even if Link went back in time afterwards. It's just a different point in the timeline. But anyway, welcome to Kiri Forest. This is a very interesting version, ex adventure thing to do. We are Young Link, but we're also Young Link from kind of Majora's Mask. Because we have that same kind of tr control and feel to it. But anyway, let's take a look around. It's been a while since I last played this, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty. Where did Navi go, Link? Did you lose her? Maybe Mido was right about you. Let's try and know what's in here. Might just be a house with some pots in it. I don't think I got everything the first time I played through this, but it's hard to tell. But anyway, we've got a Deku Stick, so now we can use that. Only need a couple of equipment items on this screen, which is interesting. That's actually very interesting. There's like the mini sub-screen here. That's very interesting. Like, I, I, over here as well. Like, a lot of things were like edited in the actual main code of the game to make this happen, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure? Pretty sure. But anyway, we can also see the map of this game, I guess, so... Gonna see how far into this we can get and explore all these different places. Let me try and grab this and break that as well. Okay, nothing else. Let's move on and try and look around. There are still... It, it's a fairly linear story with... Not a whole bunch of... Collectibles to find, but there are still things to keep an eye out for, so... I'm gonna try and get what I can. Welcome back to the forest, Link, huh? Where did Navi go? I don't know. Just gone, I guess. Oh, wow. Hello. Well, there's a, a piece of heart there, but I don't think we can reach that with our regular jump. So we're going to have to find something to, that will allow us to get to that. But for now, let's keep moving on. We just need to remember that that's there. Uh, let's see. There's a few other buildings to check out. I probably should have gone up the upper path, but I think this is all connected anyway, so... 
It's, it's such a unique design. I like the world of this game, but I, I just don't think it... Yeah, I'll, I'll go into it later. <laughs> it's fine. Link, you're already back. You should visit Saria. I'm sure she really misses you. Her magic door will only open to those who know her song. I don't know if we remember her song, but it's fine. Okay, in here is her song. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Just so you can learn Saria's song here. Just in case you need it. Can I check it? Like, will it... Is it marked or... Sorry, song. Okay, so I think you just have to remember it because I think it's going to show up on the subscreen. Oh, no, it's, it is there, but it's, it's just different. We have a bonus song as well. Anyway. Just keep looking around. I think this is just the outside area that we don't need to worry about. I don't think there's any sculptures to find. So that's, that's something that's probably good for this. Just to keep it more short and interesting. Uh, let's go over this way. Talk to you. Ha, ha, please. Talk, 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 talk. No talk? Possibly not talk from up here, at least. It's fine. We're gonna grab this rupee over here. I feel like Link is slightly faster than he is normally. But that might be just because this is the a smaller model using uh, the Majora's Mask Link, so... Please let me target you and speak. You're back, Link. You should visit Saria. Saria's house is on the hill to... Uh, to my right. Hurry. I think we've already done that, so let's go back this way now. We could also go through that entrance thing over here. Except I don't think it takes us anywhere. Probably. But it might be something for later, possibly? No, that's just blocked off, I think. But it's interesting. Just, uh, I just keep- I just- I guess it's there to keep the- the world feel like it's connected to Ocarina of Time. Even though it's vastly different and feels more like- this game feels a lot more like it's an alternate reality than an official thing. Okay, let's get some more rupees. I think this is Sari's house up here, but we need to play the song for. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go up this way though, just to see if there's anything else. More- more rupee? There seems to just be the blue rupees respawning, I think. Possibly, but anyway, let's go ahead and play Sari's song. Just like that. That's cool. I do like effects like that in the original Ocarina of Time. But anyway, let's go in here. Link! Listen carefully, this forest is in grave danger. Without the divine protection of the great Deku Tree, Kakiri Forest slowly has begun to wither away. Worse yet, a fairy collecting demon has started capturing all the fairies in the land of Hyrule and will soon arrive here as well. In front of you is a chest containing a farewell well gift from one of your friends. Please use that gift to save this forest and bring back its fairies. You got the Soul Charged Kikuri, Kikuri Sword. Charges you up your spin attack, or attack with full health, to fire a blade beam. A voice em em emanating from within the chest wanted you to take it. No matter. Sorry, I probably won't mind if you borrow it for a while. Where is she anyway? So this is kind of why I don't agree with... The, like, what I don't agree with this game is the, the story. I don't think it lines up with what I know the story to be. But anyway, with this new soul-infused blade, Kokiri Sword, we can now shoot sword beams, basically, with our regular attack. So that's pretty cool, as long as we have full health, though, so... But anyway, let's go on up this way. Because now that we have the blade beam, we can actually do stuff with it. Also, I didn't need to jump down all the way, but it's fine. We're here now, so it's fine. It's all good. It's- it's fine. I just needed to clarify that it's fine. There's a few ways up here, but let's go over this way. Hello, Mido. I hate to admit it, Link. 
But I can't leave the forest. We Kakiris can't survive outside the forest. If you can cut down this tree, then you better get to chasing that demon and being the hero they say you are. But just because I uh, also lost my fairy doesn't mean you're off the hook, Mr. No Fairy. Though I admit I was too harsh with you, that counts as my apology, okay? Okay, well now that we have the blade beam, let's shoot at that tree to cut it down and create a bridge for ourselves across. Deep Woods. I really love this place, the way it looks. Just, I love that like autumn feel to it. It's something that you wouldn't expect out of this kind of game. But it works so well for the atmosphere of what it is. I really think this is just best thought of as a separate reality. But here's the stump that was shown in the, the opening. There's some Deku Scrubs there we might want to talk to. And hello, Andrew. What do I do? Cluck Cluck Ranch is up ahead, but the Deku Guards won't let me visit. You, you, little boy, please, could you try getting through? I need my cuckoo's birth certificate. Okay, so we need to find that. Hey you, don't even think about getting past me. We guard this path to the Deku Grove, and nobody has ever gotten past me. Not even that really, really, really scary fairy, fairy collector guy. Yeah, he didn't go right past this gate. And you aren't either. I think they both probably say the same thing. I assume. My partner over here likes to act really tough. I wouldn't take him too seriously if I were you. Watch out for that fairy collector though. Okay. And obviously this area is kind of based on the the forest in at the very beginning of Oh, hello. Apparently the sword beam makes you go on fire, so that's not a good thing. Uh, but this is based on the forest at the beginning of Majora's Mask, and I'm kind of glad that we get to be here as an area, basically, because we don't actually... I feel like that area is underused in Majora's Mask, and I like the use of it here, basically. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going this way. Carefully. Oh my goodness. Very carefully. Oh, bats. Keys. Ah, I dodged that very well. Wow. Perfect. I'm so good at this. Uh, but I think I need my blade beam. So if I can get those keys to chase me again, that'd probably be good. Oh wait, no, I, ha I can char- I can spin attack to charge it. Right, so let's go over here. Whoops, just gonna flip into the pit there. So we can still shoot the blade beam even without full health. That way we can melt that to get through there. Now well, let me also see what happens if I take you out. Hang on, I'm gonna go down and get you. Oh, hello, there's a chest down here. Take that. I kind of like this music as well. And we get just a recovery heart. I guess that's pretty good. Uh, but we have, do have to go back up now if I can find how to do that. Oh, over here. This is the other side though, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I would definitely recommend playing this just to experience an alternate world of... It's just a, such a different experience, and I really like it. It's it's it, I that's what I really appreciate about like hacks of games is it's the same like oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's the same mechanics and like art style, but it's so different and it makes it so much more interesting because it's not what you're used to. But anyway, let's get this Deku Nut so we can use that. Okay. Ah, please. Please aim correctly. Okay. It's a little bit hard to target on things when they're behind something. Just slightly. There we go. I really like this room. Before the game came out, uh, like I'm pretty sure all the models were redone. I'm assuming that's what CDI Fails did, was that if I remember correctly, which I might not. 
But it's, that's a cool thing that that they did to make this experience last, I guess. I think I actually have to do this differently. Hang on. There you are. But I think I have to also move these blocks onto the spot where you are. There's no explanation of how to solve these puzzles. I think it just ex expects you to know how to solve some of these. Which I think is pretty... That's pretty good design for a video game. Um... I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Hey you, wanna get through here? Tough luck. You're not going anywhere while I'm watching you. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, no, please. No, I'm stuck. No, okay. Yeah, I might have found a bug. It's fine. It's so fine. That's not supposed to be like that. Let me just get review, okay. Now we can go hit you. Because now you can't go anywhere else, and it opens the door. Also, I like the usage of the platforms and water here. It's very nice. But anyway. I think these are just things to talk to if I can't get stuck here, please. I would like to live. <laughs> Let me open this up. Get a small key. Can only use it in this area, though, so... Hey, you there! This is my brother, Miko, and my name's Michael. We are the Deku Brothers. Anyway, enough in introduction. I need your help. Please show me a bomb chew. Trust me, they are the coolest thing ever. If you can find a way to blow up that wall over there with a bomb chew, I will find a way to get you past the Deku Guards. Mark my words. Ah, Michael keeps begging me to go to Monktown Valley to buy him bomb chews, but eh. Hey, I got it. Why don't you just go there for me, and he will finally shut up. You, you will need to know the super secret code, though. I always remember it's like, 23 is number one. The classic. Huh? You don't get it? Well, you, you can't expect me to explain everything. So, we'll have to do that. But let's go on over this way. We need the key to get through, so let's go. Oh wow, look at this place. Oh my goodness, this place looks beautiful. I mean, it it's, looks like a reuse of that one room in Majora's Mask in the graveyard. But like, it's the redesign here works so well. This is why I like the, the, the idea of video game mixes, basically. Is stuff like this. The, I, I mentioned in the... The discussion of Banjo Mixer and all that. Um, why I like the missing link as well and that. Oh, that leads here. We could have just gone through here the whole time. That's actually really cool that that's there like that. I think that I remember having that this, that same realization the first time I played through this. Ha! Huh? Falling! <laughs> I don't know why Link didn't jump, but he didn't jump. Probably was just at the wrong angle. Probably was just at the wrong angle. I probably also need to roll before I reach that bit, because then Link's more likely to make the jump properly. In my experience, at least. Okay, where are we? Monktown Maze. Monktown Valley is ahead. Ask the Deku Brothers for instructions, which we've already done. I don't think there's anything else here that we need to worry about. I also want to point out where we are on the map as well, just because there are... I mean, it's not a huge map area, but it's very cool to look at it, so... Okay, three doors. Oh, I know. 23 is number one, so let's go 20... or two... three... and then one. If we get it wrong, I assume it just loops us round to the first room. Monk Town Valley. Link. Link. Please, don't be afraid. It is I, the soul bound within your sword. 
I am very weak at the moment, so please excuse my b b bit of brevity. Wish uh, this is important. I sense the curse of this valley. Yes, I am sure of it. These redeads, I can still sense a human soul residing deep within them. Please, Link, take caution. Okay. I'm fine. I'm just trying to keep up with the text that's going by really quickly. Also, that's a lot of rupees from grass. They probably changed the, the rate at which the grass drops rupees, or possibly this patch just drops rupees naturally more than some patches of grass. Same with trees, actually. But anyway. We can see that there's a soul in our sword, which looks a lot like Saria. I don't know if it is supposed to be Saria, or just... I don't know, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Considering that Saria is in the future of Ocarina of Time, and we're technically in the past. I don't know, it's fine. Anyway. This, this is this is the main reason why I feel like it's a, a separate thing. But anyway, grab all these rupees. We have a lot of them now. I don't know if I want to go down or if I want to stay up for the moment. Let me stay up for the moment and check some of these buildings. Okay, interesting. So many rupees. I'm assuming there might be some sort of secret in here though, if I can find it. So let's go up this way. Nope, that's a slope. That's a slope. Ah, uh, but maybe if we go up here, then we can jump across here. And then we can jump across here. Nope. I think I'm overthinking secrets right now, but there might be something. Possibly, maybe from an upper area, possibly. I feel like I remember something, though. Oh, it looks like it goes up here, so I'm probably right about it, but I'm just doing it wrong. Probably. Just roll into this box. Another rupee. Ha ha! No, I just need to be careful. Uh, I think I'll go back up this way. Carefully. And this came out a long time ago at this point, I just realized. Like, but it's... I just haven't, haven't thought about it that much, even though it's really cool. Okay, let's go down this pot. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. I like that transition. This place is pretty cool. What's over this way, though? Okay, we're behind the sand waterfall. Oh boy, these things. I don't like these things, but they're gonna be useful probably for opening up some of these rocks. Hopefully. Please. Oh boy, I think I actually have to hit them with my sword properly. I think I had trouble with this the first time I came through here as well. I might want to reload the area. I don't think they've respawned, possibly. Which would be annoying. But I'd just have to work with it, so... Nope. Oh boy. I'm gonna reset the... Reload. Reload! It's fine. I think something that would make this, uh, uh, again, more cool is probably just having the music transitions not have to be in by transitioning between different areas. I missed. Ah, <sighs> it's fine. I could just wait till I have bomb chews later on because the game says seems to, seems to be implying that I'm going to get bomb chews. I really like the items and abilities that it, this gives me. Ha <laughs> blow! Oh, it's fine, it's just a rupee. Cool, I spent all that time on a rupee. Okay, please, please, please. I need to make sure the bomb and the rock are in the same view. There's a piece of heart, so we're probably gonna need to get four of those at least, so. There's definitely more of them to collect. But this is kind of a short game. So, it's, it, there's not going to be that many collectibles. I think it's cool that they have this whole experience with just three hearts, though. Like, you could theoretically get through this whole thing with, with just three hearts, not collect any of the heart pieces. But anyway, let's go into this building over here. Carefully. Oh, very carefully. That's what's inside here. The Monk Town Sanctuary. Ah, uh, not a lot. But there is the opportunity to use fire here. Also, this ladder, which is probably 
part of the whole thing. So let me, let me like that. Like that. Okay, now we can use a stick. To roll on that. We could also probably get a stick from this part here as well if we need one. Uh, but now let's go down. It's fine. It's all part of the plan. Let me check this box. There's a switch. Which... Opens that door. I'm assuming I need to actually... No, I don't need to put a box in that. But there is a box in that corner there, so I might need to do something like that. Oh, down we go. Hello. When we arrived here, Reed had suddenly appeared. That gate over there is the only thing keeping us safe. We will just hang in here until they are gone, I suppose. But I want the treasure chest. Give me the, give me the, tr the treasure. The treasure. This is our treasure now. Go bother someone else. Same thing. Okay. So we got, can't get that yet, but there are re-deads. And blue fire and the red ice. So there's a lot of cool things here, but we can't do anything about that yet until later on, probably, so. Um... We're over here now. I think this way leads back to the main area of the monk town. Okay, interesting. I think maybe if I aim up. No, hang on. I don't have. Oh, interesting. Ah, uh, very interesting. I think I can't do anything about that at the moment. So let's go in here. Although I think this just leads to the re-deads. So let's leave that alone. The, the, the Reddits won't go around the edge or anything to get inside of the building. They couldn't just walk around like I did. Um, surely there's a way to grab this that the developer didn't intend. Possibly, I don't know. Probably not going to try that hard for it. Uh, let's try going back into the main area for a little bit. We have that switch pressed now, so we can do something with that, but we have to figure out what else we can do. Probably. There's a lot of, lot of re-deads out in this area. We can see that slope over there leads up to the where we came in, so... Hello, re -dead. These re also respawn whenever we leave the area, so... We can't just take them all out and then have them taken care of. Please, 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 please. Please. Oh my goodness. I'm doing spit attacks and there's not enough damage to take them out, apparently. There we go. Okay. There's a lot of re-deads. Oh, that's a pit. I didn't see the pit. Okay. Oh, I tense take take this is all one area. Ah, why couldn't it have been a transition? I mean it's a it's a good thing that it is a transition, but also checkpoints are a thing. Uh anyway, let me just No, please. Please. There we go. Perfect. Okay, watching out for the pit this time. Something tells me that one of the things will be helpful to me. Uh, this is a map. I'm presuming that X is where we are. But is there something else I'm missing that I need? Possibly. Maybe. Let me tr check some more, more of these buildings, I guess. Oh, hello. Keys. I don't want to give you five powers. Please, hit it! Oh my goodness. I think there are more upstairs, possibly. Please, thank you. Just one rupee, I'm gonna leave that. We haven't needed that many rupees so far. We haven't needed them at all. But anyway. Uh, hello. Take you out. Ow! Oh, I'm about to die! Please, no, oh, no, 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 Okay, good. I don't know how I healed to full health. Maybe the the hearts might give more or something. There we go. That's all the keys. No, it isn't. I can hear one. Somewhere. Might be downstairs or something. Okay, can't do anything with that. Oh, hello. Please hit you. Thank you. Heart? Nope. But there's a treasure chest, so... And it's a big one, so that's a good good thing. Am 
And it's a piece of heart. That's pretty good. I don't want to miss any of those. I don't know how many there are to get, so I'm going to be in trouble. But it's fine. For now, I can relax. Okay. That's that room. I thought that was where I needed to go, actually, but I guess not. There are still a few more buildings to check, so... At least one. <laughs> oh, there's some, oh, there's more. There's, like, way more. Oh, boy. If only I'd actually played this... ...in practice or something, because I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, looks like this is a Bomchu shop or something. There's something Bomchu related here. This is probably where I need to go then, because that way I can get into the other building. Uh, right. It's really dead. So I can't buy Bomchus there. <laughs> but it is a Bomchu shop. I guess, so. 